Let's dive into the intriguing Native American story of the Moon-Eyed People. These were a unique group of beings who were small in size with round bodies, pale skin, bearded faces, and striking blue eyes. Unlike the fantastical characters usually found in Cherokee myths, the Moon-Eyed People were believed to be a distinct human group. While some experts think these individuals might have been early European settlers, their story goes way back before first settlers arrived. The Cherokee people, in their old stories, talked about these folks. They had sensitive eyes that couldn't handle sunlight, so they only came out at night under the moon's gentle light. These individuals were called moon-eyed because their peoples were so sensitive to light. Even the soft glow of the moon was too much for them at times, and they stayed underground. They made fancy underground caves for shelter, and some stories say they built simple homes from logs and wood, nestled very close to the earth. According to the stories, another group called the Creek Tribe came from the south and took over the land where the Moon Eye people lived. Their territories stretched from the Little Tennessee River up to Kentucky, and they had built walls around it. The Creek people took advantage of the Moon Eye people's weakness during full moons, when they were most sensitive, and pushed them out of their underground homes. The Moon Eye had to escape into the Smoky Mountains, and then from then on they disappeared. The connection between the Moon Eye people and Fort Mountain State Park near Elijay, Georgia, is very strong. You can still see parts of an impressive 850-foot stone wall there, where they're said to have built around 400 to 500 CE. Way back in the early 1800s, Tennessee Governor John Sevier talked to Cherokee Chief Okosada about this wall. The chief said that white men from across the Great Water had built it. These Moonai people faced lots of troubles during their time in the Appalachian region. They built walls like the one in Fort Mountain State Park to protect themselves. The wall could be as tall as seven feet in some spots and went around the southern part of North Georgia's mountains. This wall tells the story of their battles against the Creek people. Today you can experience their history by walking the Georgia State Park Summit Trail. It's a 1.5 mile path that takes you close to the old stone wall, a fire tower, and a fantastic view of the Kohota Wilderness. Between the Little Tennessee River and Chickamauga Creek, you can find more signs of moon eye people's time, like old stone walls and structures that still stand there. Now, different versions of their stories suggest that they went west to avoid fighting with the Creek Indians. Some say they couldn't go east because of something called the Great Leech in Peachtree Creek. Another version says they escaped from the Hiawassa area in North Georgia and North Carolina moving towards the Smoky Mountains and the Little Tennessee River. However, whispers still float around that Moon Eye people might be hidden away in their secret places, even today. In 1823, a person named John Haywood wrote a book called The Natural and Aboriginal History of Tennessee. He talked about a meeting between Cherokee people and some white people by the Little Tennessee River. He mentioned tools like axes and rifles, suggesting these might have been European settlers. He would believe the moon Eye people moved away from the Little Tennessee River, though, to other places. The area north of the Hiawassee River, which includes places like Blue Ridge, Georgia, and Blairsville, Georgia, seemed like where these odd folks may have lived. The rivers, especially the Hiawassee River, would have given them food, and the Blue Ridge Mountains would have kept them safe from bright light. But as conflict with the Creek tribe grew, the Moon Eye people had to leave. They went into the wild unknown, never to return. The Cherokee stories say that they were eventually pushed out of Appalachia, known for their small size, beards, and their eyes that shone like the moon. These stories have stuck around because the Moon Eye people's mysterious tale still captures our imagination. The memory of their unique presence passed down by the Cherokee and early European settlers has an intriguing layer to America's history. These are Interesting Things with J.C.